Hello again, everybody. Uh, once again, my name is Brandon. This is Brian, Corey, and Keegan, and this is our game, Shrapnel. Uh, let me lay the scene for you a little bit. Thousands of years in the future, after the Earth has been ravaged by war, only five nations remain. They come together and make a peace treaty, deciding that no more human lives will be wasted on war, and all disputes will be solved through games with robots. Um, they also decide that every five years they're going to meet at one arena and do it out to see who the next world leader. Uh, Brian, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about that tournament? All right, thank you. Uh, here we have Brandon and Keegan are going to demo the game ready for you. Um, as you can see right now, they're using the gun creator. <laughs> they're using the gun creator right now, and that's a big part of the game, is that there's hundreds of gun combinations between the base guns and the individual mods. Each one of these mods has a good thing about it and a bad thing about it. So it might increase your accuracy, but it decreases your damage. And all in all, it makes for a really balanced gameplay. That you can choose anything that fits your play style, and you can do well in it. So, we already had them create some guns beforehand, we're going to have them actually play the game. So we have three maps, and all of them are dynamic, so they change as the game progresses. And they have destructible terrain and all the modern features of a first-person shooter, but with all the charm of an old co-op game like Time Splitters or Goldeneye. So, they're going to pick their teams, and they're going to pick their nations that they're going to represent for these games that Brian described to you earlier. And what you're watching right now is Deathmatch on Mughal, which is India's home environment for these games. And uh, Keegan has his gun, Tori has his gun, and they're going to start playing right now. Which one are you trying to start? I'm on the bottom. Okay, so Keegan's on the bottom. I'm actually, no, you're using a sniper rifle. But uh, this is just Deathmatch, so they get points from killing each other. We also have Catch the Flag, which is self explanatory, and King of the Hill. So, three game modes, three maps, hundreds of gun combinations, you won't get bored playing this game. 